This is Jared Horak for the RunawayHorse.com. Welcome to my latest Breeders Cup Win and You're In video. And in this video, I'm going to do the Grade One Beverly D from Churchill Downs, a Win and You're In for the Breeders Cup Philly and Mare Turf. In my next video, I'm going to do the Grade One Four Star Dave from Saratoga, a Win and You're In for the Breeders Cup Mile. Now, if you're interested in my full card analysis from Delmar this summer, head on over to the RunawayHorse.com. You will find those full cards on my sales page. You can purchase uh, the entire meet, ind individual full cards, and weekly and weekend packages. Now, if you're interested in bonus free selections on our Breeders' Cup 2022 page, my handicapping colleague, Dr. Atlas, he is posting bonus free selections uh, from stakes races from Saratoga. And then at horseracingnation.com, I've been posting uh, bonus free selections every day. Uh, from from tracks around the country i'm i'm doing uh, uh, quite a few races from saratoga especially during the week and then some stakes races on the weekend as well uh, so you can find that uh, at, at horseracingnation.com uh, on the front page in the handicapping section and i'll also provide links to my free selections uh, in the description in this video and that includes uh, bonus free selections from delmar from that delmar website i post those each day as well now let's get into the analysis of this video. It's going to be the fifth race from Churchill Downs on Saturday, August 13th. It's going to be the grade one $500,000 Beverly D stakes for fillies and mares traveling a mile and an eighth on the turf course. And they had the post time scheduled for 3.01 p.m. Eastern. Number one, Delica for Al Stahl Jr. She's, she's fairly uh, consistent. Uh, last time she didn't run well on the Diana. That was a grade one. She stalked, she weakened. Um, prior to that, she finished a decent second in the Mint Julep uh, in the ladies' turf, uh, grade three at Kentucky Downs last year. She was second. Uh, she won uh, a stakes race at a mile and three-eighths, a grade three at Delaware Park. Uh, that was last year. Uh, in the Kirtana Stakes at Churchill, she was second. Uh, and she's actually run six times at Churchill Downs with two wins in three seconds. So she certainly likes this turf course. And, and also last year, she won a stakes race at Fairgrounds. Uh, so she's a decent type. She likes to be forwardly placed. She's got the inside post in a race without a ton of speed. She's the longest shot in this five-horse field, but I wouldn't be shocked if she, if she ran a decent race. Uh, the two in here is Family Way. She's three to one morning line. Now she's run 16 times, five wins, four seconds, and two thirds. She's one for one at Churchill Downs and one for one at this mile and an eighth distance. And, and that mile and an eighth win was at Churchill. That was May of 2021, where she stalked the pace and she won by a head. Now, last time out, the grade one New York stake, she was second. And then prior to that, the grade three Bewitch at a mile and a half at Keeneland, she was second. She did win the grade three Orchid uh, that was at Gulfstream Park at a mile and a half. And then a mile and a, a mile and three eighths, the very one stakes are grade three. She ended up second there. So she's been running in longer distances and she's been finishing first or second in her last four starts. She's got some tactical speed. Cutting back in distance shouldn't hurt her too much. She's going to have to run a little bit quicker than she has been running in her last couple starts. Now, number three in here is Princess Grace, and she got back on the beam last time out. And the, and the Dr. Um, Penny Memorial stakes a grade three at Parks, and, and she was uh, repeating in that race. And that day she got out there and she cr controlled the pace. It was a slow, early, fast, late event. She was in complete control, and she just uh, kicked away, and she won by three lengths. A nice, easy victory. Uh, prior to that, her first start this year, the Grade Three Eaton Town at Monmouth Park, uh, she stopped the pace and she ended up running last there. So that was a nice forward move last time out. Now, prior to that Monmouth Park race where she ran last, uh, she was very consistent because she's run ten times on turf, six wins a second and two thirds. So that Eaton Town was the only time she didn't finish in the top three. So it's good to see her get back on the beam last time out. And she's definitely classy enough to win a race like this. Last summer at Delmar, she won the Grade Two Yellow Ribbon, and then uh, then she won the Ladies Turf at Kentucky Downs. Then she was third in the in the Golda Cova, third in the Grade One Matriarch. So so she's won with some uh, running style versatility, and she's certainly got uh, s some ability, and she can move forward in her third start after the layoff. A Rougier for trainer Chad Brown. Manny Franco is going to ride. Now all three starts in this country, uh, Flavian Pratt was aboard. Uh, she won the Grade Three Bogey Stakes at Belmont Park at, at a mile and a sixteenth on the inner turf, and she won that one easily, rallying from off the pace. She was a heavy favorite that day. After that win, they made her the heavy favorite in the Grade One New York. She didn't run particularly well there. She was fifth, beaten two lengths. Then last time, the Grade One Diana, uh, she was a bit less than four to one, and she finished an even fourth. Uh, so she's one that uh, she's going to take a lot of money. She does fit in this field. 
but she's a bit inconsistent, at least since she's, been, she's since she's arrived in this country. She was a Group 1 winner in France in 2021. And then number five, Lily Pond, is coming over for trainer Aiden O'Brien. Last time out at the Cura, at a mile and an eighth, and in that turf race, she won that one by a half length. Uh, so that was a nice grade two win last time out. She's only run five times, two wins, a second and a third. She has some upside. She just ran on July 17th. And uh, but Aiden O'Brien will bring his horses back quickly after they've run overseas and he ships them here. And, and they've done well in the past. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if she was con- a contender in here. She's five to two morning line. So obviously uh, any of these horses I think can win. Lily Pond could ship over and run well. Rougier, I don't trust her, uh, but she could win this race. Princess Grace, a contender, uh, Family Way. And then even even Delica, I think, has some kind of shot in here. Uh, but for my top choice, I'm going to go with the three, Princess Grace. I just think last time was a step in the right direction uh, in her for her five-year-old campaign. I think she can back, get back to that top form that she had uh, last year when she earned some nice speed figures, including uh, that good speed figure she got in the grade two yellow ribbon. And her running style versatility gives her rider, Florent Giroux, plenty of options. And that could be the key here because she seems to respond uh, when Giroux is in the saddle, like he was last time in that Dr. Penny stakes, where she went out there and she controlled the pace. He rode her in the ladies' turf, that grade three at Kentucky Downs last year. She won that one from off the pace. He also rode her in the Mrs. Revere in 2020 at Churchill Downs. And that race originally scheduled for the turf. She sat in second. She won that one. So he's ridden her three times, and she's used a different running style each time, and she won all three of those races. So I think Florin Giroux riding her back, Coming off that win, if she can go to the front if they want to, if nobody else wants to go, or they can just place her anywhere. So Princess Grace, uh, the versatile Princess Grace, will be my value top choice in uh, the, the Grade 1 Beverly D at Churchill Downs on Saturday, August 13th. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you like this content. And that will wrap up this video. I will be back, and I will be doing the four-star day from Saratoga in my next video. Until then, good luck at the races. <music>